some important context beginning this vlog. I just got my eyebrows done. <sighs> One thing I have to do by the end of May is clear out my art studio. I've decided to discontinue the monthly lease because, well, many reasons to save the money. But now that I have gotten a two bedroom, I've decided to move my art studio into this place. Ultimately, I will miss going out and having like a really dedicated private space where I can just paint away into the night or work on textiles and make a mess and go home and pick it up the next day. But I mean, in a way, I can still do that with my two bedroom. And I didn't originally, when I signed the lease for the studio, I didn't know I was going to move to Brooklyn. I wasn't planning to get a bigger apartment. So that all happened very unintentionally and you saw in my december dailies maybe how that went down if i find out how to make storage really efficient and it's going to be still pretty tight to do like tufting ceramics oil painting acrylics jewelry fashion but i am so incredibly grateful to be able to work from home for many reasons too one, I don't have to commute and I get to see my cats, get to have lunch breaks at home. Maybe I save money because sometimes I eat out for lunch when I go out. And I love the pink that I worked on for that office. And right now it's a guest room for William because one of my best friends is moving back into town. Last year, around the same time, I made a kind of like emo video of saying goodbye to him because he went to California for work and I was like, good Bye, my friend New York is not the same without you well he's back I'm really happy that he's been here for like two weeks it's nice to have somebody to talk to I mean I talk to the cats but like a human to talk to every night just to be like how was work today and I just gotta get this mess kind of under control I have to pack as well for Boston and just tie up some loose ends before I leave town. Also, how cool is it that William can help me babysit the cats while I am out of town for my sister? That is a bonus. I have got him some groceries in the fridge as a little thank you. And that's all. I've been having a kind of rough week, mostly because my, my allergies have been acting up. For the most part, they've been pretty good and I'm perfectly taking medicine every day without fail so i feel like building up that antihistamine level also really helps but um this week has just been non-stop itchy nose itchy eyes swollen eyes and i had to take a covid test tonight just to be sure that it's not anything because my sister would be you know she's technically like immunocompromised because she's pregnant i wouldn't want her to get ill See how showering goes. See, I cannot wet the brows at all for two weeks, except with the cleaning solution I was given and the lotion. So I'm trying to not wash my hair more than usual. Oh my god. This should work, right? It's a real shame, isn't it? Because she's a real plumber. She intended to install yeah, the most, nuts and she's like the most all the way around the bowl. But, but she didn't have time for that, so she's painted it on. Exactly. So because she didn't plan it, mm. her line thickness is exactly mm. the kind of had a bad dream so I just lied there feeling so sad and I thought okay I'm just gonna force myself to get up but I was so physically exhausted so I ended up sleeping again
trying to play with a little bit of layering. Is this weird? Is this weird? Okay. time no talk it's been a couple of days I'm here at her house in Massachusetts and there's a lot of work in progress around here there's also really nice spaces that are very cozy my eyebrow looked weird when I woke up yesterday I thought maybe this one would also break off to make it even but I'm getting over myself like I'm eventually going to do the whole diary of how my process went this is supposed to happen i just can't irritate it and get involved i'm letting it exfoliate on its own so this is what's up i'm sleeping in this little guest room slash office they don't have any curtains up yet my good friends came to help paint this room you can see the paint stuff right here and then we also painted two other bedrooms that aren't being used right now and it's really in my sister's taste so there are these really subtle gray blues and soft hues so lilith is doing well overall but feeling really uncomfortable because she is full term might be having a child any day now like this week next week probably this week and i found this old dress of mine in her closet actually and i feel nice that i can like seren serendipitously dress up today and feel a little bit like a little more fancy because i only packed comfy sloppy clothes which is cool too how are you doing uh slow process but i definitely got a system going so i'm feeling garlic <laughs> okay what the fuck That's a three cloves of garlic. Oh, oh, you did everything. Oh, I thought that clove was one thing. No, this is one clove. It's okay, it's okay. It's fine. So no, what is that thing, thing called? A head. Uh, it's like a three heads of garlic.
turns out that he has a tiny fever. Yes, tiny fever. He got some antibiotics. I think, so the antibiotics will last for two weeks, they said. I think he might feel slightly better with the fluids now. They put it in him over here. So my sister and RC have a multi-family and they want to rent one side out to help with the mortgage payment. And the dust in this old house that they're moving into is also just making me so sneezy every day. So I'm wearing a mask to help minimize that. mission is to go around with the beige paint to patch up any little spots and dings around that makes the place look freshened up with a lick of paint. I love that saying by the way, I've been waiting to use this for a long time. Fresh lick, lick of paint. And back on the original side, I also have to set up this guest bedroom real quick because my mom is flying in tonight and she's gonna be staying here in this room, which is adjacent to the office that I'm sleeping in. And she's gonna be here for a month. After the baby arrives, she's gonna help out around the house and aid my sister's recovery and it'll be really nice. So I'm trying to make this theme a whimsical, fun little cozy room. I'm really liking how this wall turned out. I just have a little more to do on the left side. Lou woke up from his nap and he seems to be very fascinated with how I'm painting the stripes because he definitely can register the line and he's like, how is this line coming from your brush? And he's very fascinated, he's been watching me. Very confused by the mark making. No. <laughs> This is all I was able to do this trip. I think it's a good stopping point for this work in progress state. And I finished up the accent wall in the dining room. I think it looks so nice to make the whole place warmer and brighter. made my drive home 
guess where I am? I'm in Providence! Because I drive through Rhode Island to get back to New York. It's cool to be back for a hot sec just to see this old highway where I went to school for three and a half years essentially because I missed the last semester during COVID. Pretty coincidental is that the RISD 2020 um, delayed celebrate uh, graduation is tomorrow, Saturday tomorrow. And I'm not gonna go because I never plan on going just because my sister is literally due any day. I didn't think that my family would be in the condition to attend such a thing and go out of their way. One big reason and the other big reason is I genuinely don't even think I have the attention span to sit through a graduation. I went to my sister's graduation in 2019 and like, God, graduations are so boring. Since it's not a huge deal to my family either, then yeah, I'm just not going. Okay, back to jamming. Enchanté à tout le monde, moi je m'appelle Lydie et maintenant pour ceux qui ne me connaissent pas. Bien, d'autres questions <rire>